welcome to another Safe Space video. In this video, we're gonna be looking at our rooted question. We'll be talking about some of our local high schools and cool things they've been doing, and also feeling the challenge ourselves to get a bit physical. Ooh. Do watch for the rest of this video and sit back and enjoy. Awesome, so thanks for joining us in our lockdown session, session 12. Wow. Um, we've been busy, busy with all these safe space videos and things, but on Instagram as well, we've had some new people saying hi, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, we have, we've had lots of new people liking, and we need to give a shout out to Izzy. Hi Izzy from Meals Cop. Absolutely, um, hey, It's Izzy. good to see you, well, for you to see us and uh, you know for you to follow us on instagram and comment and all that so keep doing that it's great to have you with us yeah brilliant and also we have our rooted question we always do this in, in our videos we have a question from our rooted pack of cards we asked this question last week in last week's video i really enjoyed last week's yeah. video actually it meant a lot it was yeah. a meaningful message wasn't yeah. it our question was what difference could you make in the world mm. Mm. um there's loads of things we could do. But I guess for us, what we are doing right now is our way of making a difference in the world. Like point. you might have seen us in your school, you might have seen us when mm -hmm. you were in primary school, and we go into loads of schools to spend time with people like you, if you are a young person in the Southport area. And so we do this so that we can give you a safe space to explore the big issues of life and faith. And for us, that's a way that we can make a difference in the world. Absolutely, like we've we've engaged with hundreds and thousands of, of children and young people, right throughout primary schools, secondary schools, and through our online stuff um, in Southport, because this means a lot to us. Yeah. You mean a lot to us. You know, we've, we've passed up different careers and things in order to be doing what we're doing now, because we really believe in local young people and how important it is to create a safe space for you to explore those big issues of life and faith. Great, so our question for next time is, do you make the most of the time you have in each day? There's a question for you. Do you make the most of the time you have in each day? Hmm. You know how we saw what some of the schools were doing recently in one of our other videos? Yeah, and it's like, it's good to try and feature the it different is. schools yeah. and what we're doing, we like doing that. Like they're all doing loads of great stuff. Yeah, but you, really cool. you know it's Green Bank doing um, something cool recently, Yeah, you? so they've been doing this staff versus students kilometre challenge ah, of who can do the yeah, most yeah. running, cycling, walking, yeah. whatever. And uh, that's pretty cool, I yeah. like that. That's a cool challenge, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so maybe we could do some sort of physical challenge as well. Well, now now you say that, uh -huh. we have been nominated, again, to do a challenge. Okay. The Plank Challenge. Oh no! Yeah. Uh, the Plank Challenge, uh, which you're a pro at, obviously. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm proper good at it. Um, uh, but Christchurch Youth, their youth workers and their youth yeah. club, have been uh, doing this Plank Challenge, and so they've nominated us to see how long Ooh. we can last. Um, so, here's how we got on. I've beaten 
I beat them again. Skills. Yes, okay. Yeah, good at these challenges. Oh, well, stop it. All right, we need to nominate someone, though, Hedzie. Who are we going to nominate? Um, Let's nominate Connor. Yeah, so I was thinking that because, yeah. you know, he likes to think of himself yeah, as, you know, a bit like sporty, sporty physical basketball kind of guy. dude, yeah. you know, I think he'll yeah. uh, give it a good go. Connor from Glasshouse Youth with mm. the Amplified Band, they do some cool stuff as well. So Connor, who works with them, Connor. you're doing the plaque challenge. Do it. Do it. See Let's see how taps. you get on. I can't pretend to be one who, like, does a lot of planking. Mm. Um, I will plank. But just not for very long. Okay. Um, yeah, but yeah. I right. do other things. Physical like, activity. Yeah, yeah, as you know, I've been climbing the stairs. Good. I've been doing a lot of walks because I've got a bit good. more space, a bit yeah, of long walking. Yeah. Yeah. Quite like cool. quiet, stuff like that. Mm. What, what have you been doing? Well, actually, um, the other day, someone gave me a bike. Oh, yeah. nice. Um, I mean, it's an old bike, but I've not owned a bike in about 10 years. And I, I used to go on cycle trips, like mm. or, like when I was a teenager, loads. I really was really into my cycling. But when I learned to drive, I just sort of gave it all. Yeah. And so I've recently just been given a bike. And in the space of a day, I had all my bike stuff back together from my mum and dad. And it was like, yeah, I'm always going out yeah. cycling and things. It's really cool. You seemed quite happy that day when you went out on your bike for the first time. I did. That was cool. Because it's, it's actually quite a good thing, isn't it? Physical, it is. Physical activity yeah. in terms of your mental and your emotional like, yeah, health. Yeah, like things. it's scientifically proven that it's good for you to be mm. physical active. And like for me, like I know that if I'm having a day where things are a bit tougher, going out and doing something physical especially for me being outside i find really yep. helpful it makes me feel better even if i don't really want to do it because i'm not feeling great mm. you know yeah okay and so our challenge to you this week is to try and do a little bit more physical activity mm. now for some people Etty, that that's probably an easy thing for you to imagine it's like yeah all right i'll go and go for a bit more of a walk or a run or something like that and um, for other people you know actually physical activity isn't the easiest thing mm. like we've talked about disabilities before my sister's actually disabled um, and some people have chronic illnesses and things like that 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 might limit them to do in the physical activity. What I think is important to remember though, is that we make the most of the bodies we have. Because even if we've got problems with our bodies, with illnesses that we might have and, and or disabilities, actually it's really important to recognize that even with those things, our bodies are still full of wonder. Like they're so detailed and intricate in the, mm -hmm. in the way that they're sort of made and created mm -hmm. um, that we've really got, I think we've really got to appreciate the bodies we've got, yeah. be thankful for that and uh, put them to use as much as we can. Yeah, good chat. Great, so remember our rooted question from today, which was do you make the most of the time you have in each day? Maybe you could fill your day with some physical activity True. like we've talked about. And do put your comments um, down below our video, engage on Instagram, like our video, subscribe, all of that sort of stuff. And we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.